hello friends welcome to a new video in today's video i am going to show you how to create a product page without this add to cart or quantity or buy now or other things because actually for some customers they need to just show a product which required like inquiry by email or like that okay so for one of our claims they need to create a page where they can display the products without showing the add to cart or anything it can be done in shopify okay so i will show you how to do that okay so for that you have to go to your online store and just click on customize and after that you can go to products from here and just click on create template okay so i'm going to add it as like inquiry products and i'm going to like select the based on which product template i have to create this template so i'm just going to select the default product and just click on create template okay now i'm having inquiry product template okay so this is different from that of the default product template okay so this is the default product template and this is the inquiry product template that we have created okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the options like i don't want to show the variant so i'm just going to delete this one i don't want to show the quantity so i'm just going to delete this one and buy now also i'm going to delete and the share button also i'm going to delete and the care instruction also i'm going to delete okay so this i have deleted what all things are not required in my case okay and now i'm going to save this one okay now i'm going back to my page and after that i can just exit from the theme customization and i can go to the products and i'm going to make this product okay basic berries coconut i'm going to insert this product and i'm going to select the theme template as inquiry products okay just select this one and just click on save now i'm going to preview this product so we have removed the all the details like what all things we don't need we have removed the add to cart button the quantity selector everything we have removed okay but it's only gone for this product okay if i'm just going to other products i'll be able to see this the same okay so i have only selected the template for this product for the inquiry product now what i'm going to do is i need to add the and an inquiry form here okay so this product is not available for people to check out so they need to enquire about this product okay so this is the scenario so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the products and i'm going to online store and just click on customize and go to the inquiry products so we'll be able to see the inquiry products here and as this product is not having description that's why it's not shown there okay so if i'm having a description it will be shown for that product also so if you need we can delete that also okay fine and after that you can just click on the add block and you can go to the forms okay in previous video i have shown you how to create inquiry form for an inquiry page okay b2b inquiry page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same form in this page okay so just click on forms and just click on the form and i need to enter the form id so for that i need to go to the forms and this is the form what we have created just click on the b2b inquiry form what we have created before and just go down and you'll be able to see the form id so just click on copy and just paste the id here okay so now we are done so we'll be able to see this options here okay just click on save this refresh the page and it will be able to see this page so these all things as you know you can just customize that from here okay so you can you'll be able to remove this one you can remove this one all these things so it will be fine so if i'm just removing this all these details it will be gone from there okay see this okay i'm going to change this one and just click on save refresh the page so you will be able to see this thing. yeah so if someone need to like inquire about something they can also see that from here so this requires some more customization like i can add many more fields or like the type of instead of this uh, type of product i can add more products from here okay so these whole things can be done uh, in from the shopify forms okay so all these details can be added from the forms app in shopify okay so now what i have done is i have 
remove this thing and uh, remove the add to cart button and i have just added this form here okay so this can be used for many purposes like if you are having some products which are of high value or some type of customized product or something you can ask people to fill the form and get the details instead of asking them to add to cart and check out the product from the shop okay so this is how you can create a product page without add to cart or other details and a form for filling the inquiry hope you understand the video if you like the video please consider subscribe to our channel thanks for watching